and you didn't really have to light. I positioned the car a little bit to get rid of some shadows, but that was kind of it. Uh, it, it just makes it efficient, and, and it, it allows the, the actors to not be constrained by lighting. I just, we'll just keep going. So here yeah. we go. We're back. We're rolling. He comes back in. He's afraid. He doesn't know what to get Sam. Which, he's really just making excuses at this point. You know, what kind of... A, and then we do this thing again with... <laughs> Right, we established, we established with the, with the, the whale. whale that he's seeing things different than what's in reality. Yeah. And um, I think here, this is all natural lighting. I don't, think I've, I'm, I don't think I've set any lights in the scene. This is all just a mercury vapor lighting in the pavilion's parking lot. But yeah, so, so, so we're seeing Drake's perspective here. And this is just a continuation of what's going on in the whale scene. But you know, so so we're commenting on we're comment, so anybody who's not from LA, Silver Lake and hipsters. Yeah. Maybe you know what hipsters are, maybe you don't. But hipsters are people who are on the edge of what is a culturally relevant. Relevant? Yeah, I guess that's a good word. Everything that's new is too old by the time they've gotten to it. Yeah. Everything that's too old is new, and so it's they reappropriate cool it. Yeah. It's cool. And so in this scene, we see he's expressing what it means to be in, a, you know, someone from Silver Lake. So very highfalutin. And now we get to see the fact that, of course, he's not. We jump back into the, the real world? Question mark? Yeah, question mark. <laughs> but you, you, this is something you always talked about with, with Drake. He, Drake always, when he says, what am I in college? So when Lance says, what am I in college? And Drake says, do you, want to be? Do you want to be in college? That, that's the perspective that Drake, that you always hammered home, uh, that Drake is always with the possibility to be whatever you want to be whenever you want to be. Yeah. And I love that about Drake. It, it's, it's that side of me and of you of, like, I can change my life. I can do whatever I want. And, you know, we live in a place and in a time where that's, that's possible. And Drake takes it to the extreme, an, un, an unhealthy extreme. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? You play beer pong, duh. Love. And I love this improv moment that he does here. Uh, seriously, give me a blowjob. I love that shit. I and he just accepts it. It's just it, yeah. Okay, yes. that's the world we're in today. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very different from Lance, who's second guessing everything. You know, he's using this. I don't know what to get. I don't know what alcohol to get as an excuse to just delay having to actually face anything that, you know, to actually make a decision. Yeah. These glasses look incredible. They I make just, everything I, look incredible. They make everything look incredible, yeah. <laughs> just, just to see everything, just to see the background moving like it is. I, I mean, I could pay for that. We could have paid for that. Yeah. Except it would have been our college education. That we yeah. would, The cost of college would have been to shoot this scene. And, and I, I love that about this stuff is that it's dynamic, it's happening, it's moving. Uh, I love that these two characters, I, and I love how that's that, that's happening around these two characters. That, oh, that LA is changing with them, and the Jenna Walker Blue because it is fucking delicious. I would drink that as the last <laughs> meal. Yeah. So now we're we're building to a moment that I'm I'm very excited about, where he's he's about to get out of the car. He's about to take action. He's going to be a man. He's pumped up. He's ready to go. We have, a, we have the sperm <laughs> gag that you and I played with a lot. <laughs> and, yeah. And then, uh, you know, fate intervenes, as it were. Well, it's, it's, it's also, like, again, this is the idea that L.A. is smaller than it, it seems to be. That you might screw somebody over five miles away, but then there, you know, Pavilions is the only place open at 11:30 p.m. That's in Hollywood. Start sell alcohol because California has really funny laws about alcohol, so Pavilions is open to sell alcohol. So they might show up. So we have, of course, he hits his head against the window. So he's out, and he's out for the count. The Prius is there, and here's our third character. Which, um, in a previous episode, I had mentioned that Phil and I figured out a really great way to deal with the fact that you might have four characters. Oh, hang on. 
But I always want to say before yes. we... <laughs> Great gag. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> gag. The, the How many shots did this take? <laughs> oh, I think it was like 12. Just to get it right, because, because Elizabeth in the back and then is just handling... She's just such a sport of being actress and props master at this very moment. Because this is actually a more difficult move than it seems, because he's taking off his own glasses, right? Mm -hmm. Putting So with his left hand, he takes off the other glasses. With his right hand, he puts these glasses on. In the back seat, we have Elizabeth, Elizabeth who's powering the glasses. But it takes three... You have to press it three times to get it to turn on and be solid. Well, because there's, there's three settings. There's fast, uh, fast flash, slow flash... Solid. solid. So she has to press it really quickly to get the solid color. Yeah. Uh, and Meanwhile, he's still acting. You know, oh, yeah. He's still, do, he's still performing at this point, so he can't be thinking about one hand going down, one hand going it, up. It all has to be natural. And I just want to, I, I want to, I want to express that Sean here is classically trained, like Juilliard fucking trained yeah. actor. And he is in Milkshake, and I am... I was so thrilled that he came into audition because he's so good. I and he's one of the well, he's one of the few people who I was actually there when you had the audition reels. And you that's said, right. What do you think of these guys? And I saw him and I was like, oh, he gets it. Oh, he, he just knows. Gets it. He's perfect. Yeah, he's amazing. And I, 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 the, the funniest part for me is coming up when he says, "Someone's about to get Moby dicked," right? And I, I love the idea that that in the zeitgeist of this world, in the in the Inner workings of this world, Moby Dick is still a force. And it's a verb. It's a verb. Right, which I, I could dissect that joke for a long time because I have, because I'm really proud of <laughs> another person saying that guy's going to get Moby Dick. Wait, who After, said that? They, say, oh, they, the, said, okay. they say at the beginning of the episode, he's going to get Moby Dicked. I thought you meant somebody, I thought, I thought you meant somebody not then, in Milkshake. Like no. Andrew. No. Okay. And then to cut to, you know, three minutes later, different characters who have never talked to these people using the exact phrase, it makes you go, wait, what? So that is a phrase? Yeah. So in this world, Moby Dick, Dick like Melville, <laughs> Melville has, a, has had a profound lasting effect yeah. on the current society. Whereas I think it, it'd be like if Shakespeare was Melville it would be in like, this world. Yeah. It's it's bizarre and it's crazy and I'm very proud of it. I was really happy with it. Which takes us into our next episode. Now episode that, six, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, we're like cooking along, cooking some some meth. Just frying some eggs, baby. Yeah, like just meth. Oh up. my god, some just cooking them super up right eggs there. or over easy. Yeah. Anyways, episode six coming up. Thanks, guys.